My involvement in 10 Lives started about 15 years ago when I adopted my first cat from the um, Hobart Cat Centre when we were out at, in South Hobart. Uh, I then started volunteering here at the centre about 10 years ago. I volunteered here as an animal attendant. I've also done foster care, uh, looking after cats and kittens in my home, ready for uh, them to find their forever homes. And now I'm a member of the board. Uh, it's been a very exciting time to be a member of the board here at 10 Lives. We have done a lot of changes over the past five years. The, the past five years have seen an amazing amount of changes. Anyone who will have been out to the centre any time lately will have seen some of them. Some of the improvements that have been made over the past five years, if we've improved our hospital and we now have our own on-site vet clinic, so the vets are here to help our animals, our cats that we have in our care when we need them to. 10 Lives does a lot out in the community. Our bottom line, we're not just for cats, we're also for people and the community. So part of what we're actually doing is we have developed our own education program that is linked to school's curriculum. We're presenting it ourselves in schools. We're presenting that to thousands of students across Tasmania. It's really exciting to be able to be involved in educating the next generation. Over the years it's been really interesting seeing people's opinions on cats in households and how that has changed. When I was growing up, cats were an animal that you had as a pet, but they were, they were outside, they were never brought into the house. When I got into my teenage years, cats changed and suddenly they, you know, the opinion of cats and, and, and how we involved them in our family changed. And now cats spent half their time inside, but half their time outside. Now, and you know, another 15 years later, it's really interesting to see people are now containing their cats and it's fantastic. I contain both of my cats inside, my mother contains both of her cats. Plato's is a shop that I co-own with my business partner. We've owned Plato's for 11 years and it has been located in Salamanca Square for the past 22 years. Plato sells a wide range of products. We sell jigsaws, board games, science gifts, craft kits. Uh, we also sell a huge range of planters, artificial flowers, books. Uh, we sell uh, soft toys. We sell a really broad range of gifts for all ages. We are a fantastic shop. Uh, I do love it. So come on down and uh, see our shop. We also do have a website that you can look at and we can do local delivery if you can't get into Salamanca Square. My business partner and I both really believe in supporting the environment and also cats and the community and people. And 10 Lives is doing a fantastic job with doing all of those things. We're so proud to be a part of 10 Lives and to be, try and to be changing people's perceptions um, and educating people and providing a safe, caring place for cats and kittens. In the past 13 years when we have been located here at Selfs Point Road, we've really tried to adapt and change to, these, to the existing buildings that are here. We have temporary buildings that, we're having, that our staff and volunteers are having to work in. I would love to see support from all levels of government and also our councils. We, 10 Lives is completely self-funded. We do not receive much funding at all from any government or councils. 10 Lives desperately needs people like you and me to help out. 10 Lives has a fantastic social media presence. We have a website and we're also very active on um, Facebook and we have our own YouTube channel. You can support us by donating on any of those social media platforms. Please donate to our Tour de 10 Lives. We desperately need these facilities to be built here and we need, desperately need your help and to help us fund it, but also to petition the government for more funding.